Ryan said he was okay. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's just, uh... With a little bit of food. Yes, yes. Right? It's just a tolerated... Bueno, mi consejo es que se vacunen y tú sabes, para andar protegido uno mismo y proteger a los demás, ¿entiendes? Y la, eso, y también cuidar a los familiares, tú sabes, para que no estén enfermos. Um, that whole thing about the cold compress and stuff like that. Okay, the people who work in community-based organizations like us are the ones who have the real access to the community. The demand, the demand has been huge. Um, I'll, we alone, <laughs> me a good part, has, has secured at least a thousand vaccines within the last month. Um, on site, we have been seeing between 45 and 50 people per day on this site for the last week and a half. The messaging and the conversations is very varied. It goes all the way from fear to anger, to be honest. Lee. The access to the vaccine, especially for Latino people, for black people, has been very hard to get, very limited, unfortunately. Right now, Latino people are the most impacted community in New York City by monkeypox. Yet, we are not even close to what other communities are getting in regards to access to vaccine. Es un poquito difícil, de hecho porque mis amigos buscaron la organización y pues gracias a ellos pues yo estoy aquí. Pero sí está cuesta encontrar un lugar donde te pongan la vacuna. Me siento protegido, me siento protegido la verdad. Es una protección que ya yo me siento ya más tranquilo que porto la, la vacuna.